still standing. Sponsored by John C. Flood. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and every year, WUSA 9 has a celebration for the people of the DMV who have survived and thrived through the disease. This year, it's at Reston Town Center. It kicked off at 9 a.m., and our Kristen Brissett Harris, two-time breast cancer survivor, is there to share what people can expect. Hey, Kristen. Good morning, Elaine. Yeah, we kick things off. We've been stretching, getting our bodies warmed up and really getting the celebration going. Today is all about celebrating breast cancer survivors and thrivers and learning some of the best ways to help heal from breast cancer and to help prevent breast cancer as well. And we are honoring and celebrating this morning an incredible organization called Two Unstoppable. I've got one of the co-founders here, Michelle Stravitz. Good to see you, my friend. Great to be here. It's been so fun to see your organization grow and the impact you all have on the community. But for those that don't know about Two Unstoppable, what is your mission? Yeah, so Two Unstoppable, we're a nonprofit organization and our whole mission is to help women with a cancer diagnosis to improve their outcomes through exercise. So why, why exercise, right? Exercise has actually been shown to make our bodies less likely to, to less hospitable to a tumor to grow. And then, of course, we know that exercise that exercise combats all sorts of treatment side effects. Right. We know that chemotherapy and radiation and surgery call, call, cause all sorts of changes to our bodies, all sorts of side effects that are difficult to go through, and exercise combats so many of them. We're learning now that exercise is actually a double whammy. It helps to improve your chances of survival from your cancer and it also helps to prevent you from dying from other diseases that might be caused by your treatment like we know that chemotherapy affects your heart right and we're not talking about like going to the gym and working out really hard you're talking about even just taking a 30 minute walk one day like it's something simple or what these ladies are doing up here just getting warmed up this morning exactly we talk about moving your body in any way we can and in fact you are exactly right Kristen walking is an incredible form of exercise it is a great way to get started it's also, frankly, a metaphor for the cancer journey. You're taking one step at a time. And Two Unstoppable actually has a 21-day fitness challenge this month. We're doing a walking challenge, and it's never too late to join. Never too late, of course. I'm a survivor. You're a survivor. We've got another survivor over here. Tell everybody who you are and a little bit of your story. I'm Monica Stassen, and I'm a seven-year breast cancer survivor. And I've been a member of Two Unstoppable um, since the beginning, and it's just made a tremendous difference in my recovery and my healing right. and um, all the exercise programs and really the community that's a big part of Two Unstoppable is it's a tremendous community we motivate each other to move we move together uh, we encourage each other and it's not only good for us physically right. uh, to prevent cancer recurrence and really to help our, our health, our heart health in all ways, but it's also a real big mental boost. So anytime oh, I, <laughs> I feel like sitting on my couch, I don't feel meditated to move, I think about my two unstoppable friends mm -hmm. and I think, okay, what are they doing right now? They would give me encouragement and they'd say, what are you doing for exercise for today? Absolutely. And that motivates me off the couch and gets me moving and every time I feel better after yeah. I've done it so I mean we anytime any of us move a little bit we feel better right so knowing that we're doing this to better our health and to also heal but you made a good very good point it's about community like right. that's what is so special about this area is we have a great community you know this is a club none of us ladies want to be a part of but I'm sure glad I have women like this in our camp you talk about the 21 day challenge but how else can others either come out today and support our breast cancer community or find out more about Two Unstoppable. Sure. Well, first of all, Monica and I have been coming to Still Standing now for a number of yes, years together time. and celebrating um, breast cancer survivorship together. And we're proud and pleased and really grateful to be still standing. Um, as far as getting involved in Two Unstoppable and learning how to get moving, uh, you can go to twounstoppable.org. We have all sorts of exercise classes that we offer on the virtual platform. Everything, all those programs are free of charge to anyone who's been diagnosed with cancer. And I think you touched on one of the most important ingredients of our whole um, offering is that everything we offer is integrated and wrapped around with social support. So we know that if 
someone is waiting for you to show up, you're more likely to get moving. Oh, we yeah. also know that when we exercise together, we're more likely to connect. Oh yes, we yeah. are more likely to connect, be motivated. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for sharing your story. We're just getting started out here today, Elaine, at Reston Town Center. The exercise is kicking up a little bit, but we got food, <laughs> vendors, information. We hope to see you. We're here till 1130. Sounds like a lot of great inspiration, Kristen, and I know you have a full morning of fun events, so we're going to check back in with you in just a bit.